This is a Daily Purpose Bible Study and Devotional, a podcast by Our Given Purpose, your space to embark on a transformative journey through the scriptures, exploring its profound wisdom and timeless truths. I'm your host, Tori Slaughter, and together we dive deeper into God's Word, seeking daily inspiration, guidance, and spiritual growth. Dear friends, let's get ready to discover the richness of the Bible and its practical applications for life. Subscribe now and join our community of Bible enthusiasts on this Lord's Day. Let's open the scriptures to Psalm 128. Psalm 128 Blessed are all who fear the Lord, who walk in obedience to Him. You will eat the fruit of your labor. Blessings and prosperity will be yours. Your wife will be like a fruitful vine within your house. Your children will be like olive shoots around your table. Yes, this will be the blessing for the man who fears the Lord. May the Lord bless you from Zion. May you see the prosperity of Jerusalem all the days of your life. May you live to see your children's children. Peace be on Israel. Lord, we thank you for the reading of your word, Psalm 128 in its entirety. In Psalm 128 and Proverbs 16, 31 through 33, we find beautiful passages that speak to the rewards of righteousness and the blessings that come from a life lived in alignment with God's wisdom. Join us for Bible study as we dive deeper into examining their similarities and uncovering the timeless wisdom they offer for living a fruitful and fulfilling life. Psalm 128 begins by highlighting the blessings that flow from fearing and obeying the Lord. It speaks of the joy, prosperity, and fruitfulness that come to those who walk in God's ways. The psalmist describes a life marked by family blessings, abundance, and the satisfaction of the work of one's hands. Proverbs 16, 31 through 33 focuses on the value of wisdom and the significance of gray hair as a symbol of honor and experience. It emphasizes that a person's years of life and accumulated wisdom bring discernment, prudence, and divine guidance. The passage acknowledges that even seemingly chance events are ultimately directed by God. Both Psalm 128 and Proverbs 16, 31 through 33 emphasize the blessings that come from a life lived in righteousness and obedience to God's ways. The rewards include joy, prosperity, honor, and a sense of fulfillment in one's endeavors. Both passages acknowledge that God is the ultimate source of blessings and that it is through his favor and guidance that these blessings are bestowed upon the righteous. Psalm 128 highlights the satisfaction and rewards that come from hard work and diligence. Similarly, Proverbs 16.31-33 acknowledges the role of wisdom and discernment in making sound decisions and reaping the benefits of one's labor. Psalm 128, Proverbs 16, 31 through 33, encourage us to align our lives with God's wisdom and seek to live in righteousness. By prioritizing our relationship with God, obeying His commands, and seeking His guidance, we open ourselves up to experience His abundant blessings. Proverbs 16, 31 through 33 reminds us of the value of the wisdom that comes with age. It encourages us to honor and respect the experience and insights of the elderly, recognizing that their accumulated wisdom can guide us in making wise decisions. Both passages invite us to cultivate a life of diligence, hard work, and integrity. By embracing our responsibilities, seeking wisdom, and applying God's principles in our daily lives, we position ourselves to experience the blessings that come from a life lived in abundance with His will. Psalm 128 and Proverbs 16, 31 through 33 offer wisdom on the blessings that flow from righteousness, fearing the Lord and walking in His ways. They remind us of the significance of seeking God's guidance, honoring the wisdom of age, and cultivating a life marked by diligence and integrity. 
As we strive to apply the teachings of these passages, may we experience the abundant blessings that come from living a life centered on God, embracing His wisdom, and walking in His righteousness. Amen. The Daily Purpose Bible Study and Devotional offers you the perfect chance to initiate a conversation about God's Word. We are deeply grateful to you for sharing this podcast with your friends and family. We thank our many sponsors whose donations help us to provide this valuable content. If you feel led to contribute financially and become part of the Our Given Purpose ministry, please visit OurGivenPurpose.com. Your contribution will help us to spread God's message and connect with people all over the world. God's Word is a lamp to our feet and a light to our path. Let's keep seeking, studying, and sharing the beauty and truth found within its passages. Now, let's prepare to hear what contributing writer, Timmy Michael O., received from today's assigned passages. Reflections Proverbs chapter 16, verses 31 through 33, by contributing writer Timmy Michael O. Proverbs 16, 31 through 33 says, The hoary head is a crown of glory, if it be found in the way of righteousness. He that is slow to anger is better than the mighty, and he that ruleth his spirit than he that taketh a city. The lot is cast into the lap, but the whole disposing thereof is of the Lord. Proverbs 16.31 is an invitation for the younger generation to look into the future. Would you still be standing strong in faith when you were older? My prayer is that you will be found in the way of righteousness. If you are older, you have an invitation to consider your ways. When you are on God's side, you are a crown of glory, bringing life, hope, wisdom, and God's presence. Proverbs 16.32 is an invitation for us to be like God, who is slow to anger and rich in mercy. Psalm 145 verse 8 says, The Lord is gracious and full of compassion, slow to anger and of great mercy. Being slow to anger requires patience and extension of grace to others. Our ability to do these things reflects how we are walking in the Spirit and allowing God's Spirit to lead us. Proverbs 16.33 is an invitation for us to consider God's sovereignty or providence when we think about the outcome of events. Here are three statements to ponder and declare. Number one, Being slow to anger, controlling my emotions is within my power. Therefore, I will master my emotions. My feelings will not dominate me, and I do not permit others to control my emotional state. Number two, I choose God's ways. Therefore, I will live long and honorably. At a very old age, I will be found in the way of righteousness. And number three, God's divine providence will prevail in every decision made concerning me. Reflections, Proverbs 16, 31 through 33, by contributing writer Timmy Michael O. Thank you for joining us on this incredible journey of exploring God's Word and deepening our faith together. We appreciate each and every one of you for being part of our community. And thank you to contributing writer Timmy Michael O for submitting this devotional for our edification and encouragement. Please visit OurGivenPurpose.com and make it a priority to engage with Scripture and allow it to speak to your heart. Remember, you have seeds to sprinkle and don't lose sight of the ones falling on you. Where will they grow? By the road and shallow soil and the thickets? Or will they find a home in good soil to flourish and produce a good work? What God has begun in you, He will complete. Have faith and be bold. You've just heard a Daily Purpose Bible Study and Devotional, a podcast by Our Given Purpose. Go ahead and share it with a friend right now.